you will see Jesus when you do what he commanded. In Luke chapter 24 from verse 13 to verse 31, we read about two Christians who were discussing and even arguing about what had happened when Jesus was crucified and died. In Luke 24 verses 13 to 16 we read, on the same day, two followers of Jesus, were walking to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. They were talking with each other about all these things that had taken place. While they were discussing and arguing over what had happened, Jesus, himself approached and began to walk with them, but their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. Note that they were Christians, and Jesus was in fact with them, but they were reasoning in the flesh and could not recognize Jesus. Even though he was right there with them, then in Luke 24 verses 28 to 31, we read, As they came near the village where the two men were headed, Jesus acted as though he were going farther. But they strongly urged him, Stay with us, because it is almost evening and the daylight is nearly gone. So he went in to stay with them. While he was at the table with them, he took the bread, blessed it, broke it in pieces, and gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they knew who he was. We see that their attitudes changed from arguing about theology, to invite a stranger to stay over the night. They also gave the stranger something to eat. They shifted from the flesh to the spirit and what happened? In verse 31 we read, their eyes were opened. We do not find Jesus while discussing and arguing about the word of God. We find him, when we love others, and obey his commands. Remembering that his word says in Romans chapter 12 verses 13 to 16. Supply the needs of the saints. Extend hospitality to strangers. Bless those who persecute you. Keep on blessing them, and never curse them. Rejoice with those who are rejoicing. Cry with those who are crying. Live in harmony with each other. Do not be arrogant, but associate with humble people. Do not think that you are wiser than you really are. Stop arguing about theology. Get out there and love others. Then when you discuss the word of God, Jesus will be there to open your eyes to all its wonderful truths.